Welcome back to our Android training course. Let's take a look at our Getting Started chapter. In this chapter, we have three objectives that we're trying to meet. So, by the end of this chapter, you should be able to describe the Android architecture and application development model. We'll give you a quick overview of Android and then talk about the Android software stack, including the Dalvik VM. We will also introduce the four major components in Android, activities, services, broadcast receivers, and content providers. By the end of the chapter, you should be able to install and configure an Android application development environment. You already installed the Android Developer Tools Bundle as part of the setup for this course. But in this chapter, we'll talk about what was installed in more detail. For example, we'll talk about the SDK Platform Tools and the SDK Manager. We'll also talk about Eclipse and the ADT plugin. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to develop and deploy a simple Android application. That's right, we'll be creating a simple application in this chapter using Eclipse. As we build the application, we'll give you a high-level overview of the major parts of the application, including the manifest, layouts, and event handlers. Finally, we will deploy the application to an Android emulator to test it out. So without further ado, let's get started with Android. 